Hello, everyone, and thank you again for tuning into another episode of Jukebox History. Today, we're taking a look at the 2003 controversy involving the Dixie Chicks and how it affected their career afterwards. I hope you enjoy. First, let's take a look at who the Dixie Chicks, now just the Chicks, are. They started as an American country band in the late 80s. However, they never truly embraced that label and feel that they are more akin to a bluegrass band. The two original members are members Marty McGuire and Emily Strayer, and they were later joined by singer Natalie Maines. They'd released a few records with Robin Lynn Macy and Laura Lynch, however their most famous work is with Maines. They had incredible success with their first three albums with Maines, spanning from 1998 to 2002, and went on to win a handful of Grammys. At this point in their career, they were country star female group, and in the eyes of many, they could do no wrong. However, on March 10, 2003, at Shepherd's Bush Empire in London, England, Natalie Maines would give a statement to the crowd that would change their image with the public forever. While introducing their song Travelin' Soldier, she told the crowd, quote, Just so you know, we're on the good side with y'all. We do not want this war, this violence, and we're ashamed that the President of the United States is from Texas. This statement was given nine days before the United States invasion of Iraq. The president during this time was George W. Bush, and many were in favor of the president's invasion in support of his, quote, war on terror. This was especially true in the country music scene, as many artists started to write and release songs with more patriotic lyrics. 9-11 was still fresh in the minds of many Americans, so a statement against the president felt like a betrayal to many country fans. The group went on to issue a statement afterwards that said, quote, We've been overseas for several weeks and have been reading and following the news accounts of our government's position. The anti-American sentiment that has unfolded here is astounding. I feel the president is ignoring the opinions of many in the U.S. and alienating the rest of the world. My comments were made in frustration, and one of the privileges of being an American is you are free to voice your own point of view. While we support our troops, there is nothing more frightening than the notion of going to war with Iraq and the prospect of all the innocent lives that will be lost. And famously in May of 2003, not two months after their statement, they would appear nude on the cover of Entertainment Weekly in their first interview after the controversy. Former President Bush had also been asked what he thought of the statement at the time and he had said, quote, the Dixie Chicks are free to speak their mind. They can say what they want to say. So what were the effects on their career because of this event? They were banned from country music stations and faced backlash from many of their former fans. Their cover of Fleetwood Mac's Landslide went from being in the top 10 on the Hot 100 to falling to number 43 in a little over a week. In 2006, they had released their album Taking the Long Way, which featured their single Not Ready to Make Nice, which was actually met with critical acclaim and won a Grammy, however they were still shunned in country circles. Natalie Maines had received death threats following her statement which led her to write the lyrics in that single saying quote, And how in the world can the words that I said send somebody so over the edge that they'd write me a letter saying that I better shut up and sing or my life will be over. The Chicks had also released a documentary in 2006 called Shut Up and Sing that followed the scrutiny they had faced after their 2003 incident. The tagline for the movie was, freedom of speech is fine as long as you don't do it in public. Following their album in 2006, Taking the Long Way, they would go on a short hiatus where they would play some shows here or there. However, it wasn't until 2020 when they would release their latest album called Gaslighter under their new moniker, The Chicks. They had dropped the Dixie from their name the same year with an explanation of, we want to meet this moment. It's been said that they changed their name to highlight racial inequality in the U.S. They'd also confessed they were never really attached to the whole Dixie Chicks name to begin with, and they really kind of chose it just because they needed a name in the beginning. Their name had actually come from a song by a band called Little Feet called Dixie Chicken, and you know, ever since their hiatus, they'd actually gone on to work with other notable artists, um, one example being Taylor Swift. Okay, and so that was the 2003 controversy with the Dixie Chicks. Um, I want you to let me know in the comments as well if, you know, what you think of the actual incident, were the Dixie Chicks in the right to voice their opinion or did they cross a line? And do you think a statement like that today would be faced with the same animosity and backlash that they faced in 2003? Also just wanted to say my schedule might get a little spotty coming up. I have just some other stuff going on outside of the channel. 
but I do have a pretty big project that I'm working on right now and that will be my next video. But yeah, that won't last forever. I know I'm, I'm trying to get back on a, a regular schedule, but I do appreciate you sticking with me. Also, I wanna thank you again for tuning in and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace.